Hey sunshines, welcome back. We are of course gonna start with some hip mobility. Just opening up them hips, getting ready for all the hip hinging we're gonna be doing in this lower body workout. Notice that I am doing dynamic stretches. So I am moving in my stretches as opposed to static stretches, which should be done at the end once your muscles are already warmed up. These warm ups are super important to the workout. This is what's gonna set the tone for how deep you can go into a squat, how comfortable your hips are gonna be in your hinging motions. And you want to make sure you are increasing your range of motion. If you have a limited range of motion, that's gonna put you at a disadvantage when it comes to getting gains. of my new clients do ask me about resistance bands like if they're necessary do they work should they get them i do think they are very effective if you know how to use them so for activation movements like this as well as compound movements with weights i think these are great for keeping the tension on your glutes and that's going to help you maintain that mind to muscle connection i do think it matters the type of bands that you get so i will link the ones that i use in the description below I'm also trying to make sure I'm allocating enough time working on my accessory movements like these and targeting my side glutes. I tend to just focus on the big compound movements that just mostly target the gluteus maximus as opposed to the medius. <laughs> Listen, if I have never put y'all on before, I am doing it right now. These are Zercher squats. You are going to need a barbell pad and you're going to load the barbell pad into the crooks of your elbows. You're going to keep your body in the upright position and go ahead and push back like you would a normal squat. This is going to effectively overload your posterior chain as a whole. So it's going to be a lot easier to maintain mind to muscle connection with your glutes. I show my face in a case so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil and I grew up about it. Time for y'all to die, what y'all gonna do about it? Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. If I ever Since this exercise is so good with helping me to target my glutes, I thought let's go ahead and add a resistance band on this bad boy and y'all, that was it. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend. Sing about it, yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it, yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability, and now she walking with her head high and her back straight, I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be, it couldn't be, I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be, I said see you at the top and they misunderstood me, this in my heart, this that maturity, and we don't keep it on the standing. While my glutes are already on fire and already have an insane activation going, I'm gonna go ahead and do some reverse lunges. These I have been programming into my workouts for the last couple weeks and these are it. Like these are it. I'm loving these. I hated them at first, especially because I can't lift this heavy on these, which is understandable because I'm only on one leg, but I promise this weight is more than enough. 10 out of 10 recommend I've been replacing back squats with these just because I find that they are more effective in targeting the glutes. Another really good use for reverse lunges is to target your core. 
all of my postpartum moms that are on my coaching program they all start out with reverse lunges and of course the weight is a lot lower but it really is effective at building your core stability and strength now i do have a couple tips for reverse lunges a lot of my clients will at first say that they feel really awkward doing these and a couple of the reasons are because you're going too fast Take your time and really build that mind to muscle connection. But besides that, make sure you are being stable. So make sure your core is stabilized, is activated, is engaged. That's the biggest thing. So take your time going back because this is a unilateral movement. It's going to take a lot of balance. Another super common mistake is when you're at the bottom of this lunge going up, do not go straight up. So you see my back is slanted forward a bit. That is how you want to keep your spine. And that's also how you want to think of getting up because you see you're, you're leaning back with that foot. So you need to go forward as opposed to going straight up, which will put a lot of pressure on your lower back and your hip flexors. I also have to point out that knowing how to properly structure and program your workouts is everything when it comes to reaching your goals in a timely manner. And even worse, if you are going to the gym, you're working out without a plan at all, you're definitely putting yourself at a disadvantage because there's no way for you to measure your progress and there's no way for you to really measure what's working and what's not. Now, if you know that either of these are you and you could use some help with this, I'm going to leave the link to my 12 week personalized fitness and nutrition plans in the description. And you know, let's get to these results, okay? Okay, now let's get into these hip thrusts. It is not a glute workout if you do not have hip thrusts in that. And if ain't nobody told you, I'm telling you now. I always leave these at the end of my glute workout just because the idea for me is to completely exhaust my glute muscles. So if I do this as my first exercise, it obviously doesn't leave much for the rest of the workout. These are full range motion hip thrusts. They're very traditional hip thrusts. Next, I'm going to go into staircase hip thrust. You're going to see I extend at the top really high. I'm going to come to the middle pause, go down to the bottom pause, and shoot right back up to the top. These keep constant tension on the glutes, and you giving that static hold for each um, part of the rep makes a huge difference. So I definitely throw these in when I'm not feeling as much contraction and activation in the traditional hip thrust. My other hip thrusting loves are cast hip thrust, K-A-S. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to extend as high as you can at the top, and then you're going to bring your hips down to the same level of your knee, maybe a teeny bit lower, but not much lower. This is going to keep constant tension on your glutes, and these are amazing. So these are very much like pulsing hip thrusts. However, you don't need to go fast, but either way, you're going to get a crazy pump, y'all. Just look, I'll be feeling thick after. <laughs> so thank me later. Thank me later. And I will see you beautiful people on another good day. Subscribe for more videos like this one if you liked it. Bye.